good one. That's 20 pounder. One. Oh! One. Oh! Hey, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back. Something yet again new for you. We sent her up north a few hours. We're going up here to this big, massive dam. Now, on today's agenda, we do got a heck of a meal cooking up. We're gonna be doing some camping. We're gonna be doing some fishing, some cooking, some uh, shooting, hopefully some gathering and some catching. We did put a little bit of twist on it. We got the old boat this time. So this is gonna help uh, It's gonna help tremendously within the bow fishing. We're gonna go, I don't know if you guys can see it right here. We're gonna go up to that big, massive dam. The cool part about this place, I call it the bow fishing capital of the world. When it's good, it's real good. The word on the street is it hasn't been real great, but it kind of varies day to day. So figured we'd send her, we're gonna come up, we're gonna try it. We got a couple days up here, so there will be a couple different videos like this. Tip wing, wham, blast, some fish, and- Kinda wing it, I guess. There we go, let's do it. Woo! That's chilly. There's two boats up here. It's a little bit windy, but we got this big wall right here to block the wind. Plug in the old drone motor. All right, it's a little bit windy for our liking. We have a ton of wind up on the other side of the dam, but we have this kind of break right here, so it's somewhat calm. It's still a little bit windy for our liking, like I said, but we should be able to pick some that are coming up a little bit, hopefully. Well, there was one that just jumped. It's hard, we got the sun coming this way. We need to be coming this way on them. If it gets crazy good, I'll put the polarized lens on you guys too. See that one with his mouth open? Mm -hmm. Shoot him right down the mouth. Ready, three, two, one. Oh, I went right above him. I went under him. <laughs> See him? Yep. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, I got him. Got him. I had to shoot real low. He was going deep and he's taking me for a ride. Oh, he ain't happy. We kind of, oh no, it came off. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Try again. All right. Since we already saw some fish, should be pretty good. I put the polarized lens on you guys. That way you guys can see what we're seeing with polarized glasses. You can see through the water easier. The refraction's less, everything like that. See them all? Oh my gosh. Look at the whole pod right there. Those are paddlefish. Those two are, those two are paddle. These big ones are paddlefish. See that pod right there? Shoot into that. Ready? Three, two, one. We had to get one. Look at that paddlefish right to your right. There's two of them. Did we not get any there? I didn't get one. Trolling motor's off, so we're good. Oh, look at the paddlefish right here. Big old boy. You got one? Oh, this is a good Oh, it just came off. I saw it just pull off. Oh my God. That was a good one. I know, I saw him swim off right here. You see all those paddlefish with him? Yeah, those were, yeah. Those were big. Well, the fish are coming up pretty good. Especially once we flip around, you guys will be able to see a lot better. There's something right here. See right here? See that big one? Let's do it. Ready? Three, two, one. I got him. Stuck him right in the face. I got my arm more than fish. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, what in the... Uh, he pulled off again. I must have sh shot him low. My barb's stuck. Dang. Three for... Yeah, we're over three. <laughs> All right, anyways, keep going. That's a big boy. There is a ton right here. So see those big heads with their mouth? I'm gonna bump it left. That's a big paddlefish right there. See those big heads? There's three big heads right there. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, I skimmed off that one. We're not doing so hot on the shooting session. See those ones right there? Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, got him. These are far shots. Hopefully yeah. it doesn't pull out, but I gotta turn the trolling motor on. This wind is killing us. Oh, I got one too. You got one? Yeah. Nice. No, you hit him, I didn't. You got him. That's a perfect bait size one. Good one. Throw them in the tin, we got some bait. We're gonna do some fishing tonight while we're cooking. Take the pickles out of it. This was our weight. There we go. If you see one come up, let her have it. 
Shoot the front ones. See the front two? Oh, you were right on. You get him or no? No. No? All right. Look at that paddlefish. He's just swimming right next to us. Oh, there he goes. He had his gills open and everything. Oh, right there. Right there. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. I got one. I gotta kill the motor. Oh, he might have just pulled out on that. God, I thought I felt him pull out. I think he did. Yep. All right. I'm not doing good. Go for it. I'm gonna let you shoot. Oh, uh, low. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, I got him. I got the big one of the group. There was only three. There he goes. Oh, right in the domer. Let's see. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Big boy. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one right there. That's 20 pounder. Oh, my wow. gosh. That's a good one right there. Yeah, that's a big boy. Makes mine look like a little baby. <laughs> See him? Ready? Three, two, one. I got one. Did you get one? No. Oh, Sasha. This one's taking some line. It's weird, they'll kind of just pop up right in front of you. Did you get one? I don't know, I don't think so. All right, not a bad one. Medium size. Sam. Yep. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh, just knocked him dunk. I think we both stuck him hard. I think you're right. Yeah, we both stuck him. He just floated yeah, and I like, know. all right, I give up. Y'all got me. Good shot, Sash. Thanks. Good shot. You, oh. Another one on the 10. Oh. Good shot. Doubled up. That was funny, though. He just like. Stopped. I know. He just was like, all right, y'all got me. Oh, got him. I think you got him, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, you got him, you got him. Look at the coloring on that one. That one's a smaller one, actually. Oh, you barely got him. Probably don't even need to undo your arrow. Get rid of the old plop. Good there shot, go. Sash. Thank you. Got the old redneck platform right here, the old Yeti. Right out there. There's two groups of them right here, and there's that other ones that are swimming towards us. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, I, we might have hit the same one, or else we just got two. Good shot. Doubled it on Thursday. <laughs> did we hit the same, oh, one? We hit the same one? We did hit the same one. <laughs> Good shot. All right, doubled up. All right, I'm going to cut the engine. I'm going to let them swim this way, and we're going to try to meet them right here. They're swimming fast, actually. All right, it's going to be a long shot. They're swimming away. I'm going to kill it. Ready? Three, two, one. I got the back one that was semi big. He was the biggest in the back. Don't think he's a big whamma jamma though. Oh, he just pulled out. I barely had him. He was a medium sized one, nothing giant. Just barely clipped him. He turned right at the end. I wondered about it, but definitely pulling out of a lot of these. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, right in the dome, got him. See that big paddlefish next to him? Yeah, this one ain't coming off. Right in the domer. Well, a little low, right in the gills. Not bad, eight, 10 pounder. Another one on the day. All right, we're gonna end her on that one. This was big enough of the day right here. So I should give him a nice little presentation. That's probably, I don't know, big head's way small. They're basically all in the head. So he's probably only about 20 pounds, maybe, maybe 25, I don't know, but. Big old noggin on him. Big boy. Interesting creatures, Cyclops looking eyes. And... All right, throw him in, we're gonna head back. How's she looking back there? And that looks good. Let's check her out. lakefront property so technically we did pay for a camping spot right up in there but we wanted to do a little bit of stealth camping where we're actually closer to the lake so we can fish shoot do stuff like that while we're cooking setting up camp and enjoying the rest of the night so we're going to try to do it here not sure if we're going to get yelled at but uh, technically we did pay our dues and so i would assume they don't mind but not exactly sure there's a lot of park rangers going around here so we're going to give her a go and set up shop right here get a meal going and looks pretty good if you ask me
here first. Get the pulls going. <coughs> Ready to eat, Sash? Yeah. <laughs> All right, truck tent time. We're gonna set up home and then get a meal going. Potentially even get some more fishies. Fitter in there? Yep. Perfect. It's actually fairly easy to set up once you get the hang of her. Yeah. Right up in there. Here with the old tug. Pull it tight. Get that side. That one, tighten her up. Good. Tighten her up. Home is home. All right, we actually do have another pole that uh, goes in between this one and it actually pulls out. But if you look in here, it's actually pretty giant. It's the whole back of the truck. So we uh, actually fit a whole queen size mattress back here. So we're not even gonna mess with that due to lack of time. All right, next. A little portable power bank. And we did learn something with doing this. You put the air mattress inside the tent, then blow it up. Don't blow it up and then put it inside the tent. So air mattress, plug her in, inflate. Turn her on, wa-boom. Should be puffing out now. And voila. Well, bam. Love it. <laughs> Put that in there. And next, it's not supposed to be terribly cool tonight. I think like 48, but just in case we did bring the zero degree sleeping bag. No, I'll throw you the other ones that we'll use as pillows. And we got these two for extra comfort. Let's take a peek at the meal. Oh, it's in bags. I forgot. We got another sleeping bag. Another sleeping bag. Zip her up so we're bug proof. Look at this view. That's pretty gnarly. What are the odds this table's pinned down? Ooh, I think we can move her. Oh, are you kidding me? Got her? Big sash. Arm day. <laughs> yes, I done is it. You're good. This is actually a pretty good view. Big old hills over there. Yep. Hoo! There we go. Alrighty, so now, reward yourself. You want one, Sash? Sure. What we got? Let's see. I know which one I'm gonna do, but this is a special one. Ooh, you want the old Linda? Long day of shooting, camping, setting up, and calling home. Here's a look at that one. The old grill, Billy. I do have a code down below. This is uh, my favorite uh, portable grill. All stainless steel, has a temperature gauge right here. Has a uh, adapter so you can do the big tank or the little green tanks like we have. And it has a giant cooking service. So like I said, I'll put it on the screen right here. I think it's like 20, 25, something like that percent off. And on the menu today, we're doing some stuffed peppers, kind of like a walking taco, but a walking taco and a stuffed pepper, kind of just a big old mix of it. So we got the goodies right here. Oh, and we do have some sides that are pretty gnarly too. We're gonna do stuffed peppers, do some hamburger meat in there, a little bit of jalapeno, a little bit of lemon, and we're gonna call her good. Got a nice night out here. Watch that open. All right, Sasha, you're on meat duty. Some pepper gigs. Should we throw some jalapenos in there? Sure. Won't do a ton of them. Ready for some jalapenos? Some jalapenos in with the beef. We're gonna give her a little twist. Should we do it? Yeah. Try it? Yeah. <laughs> a little Sounds bit of lemon good. juice. We got some lemon stuffed peppers slash walking tacos. Almost forgot. 
that part of the walking tacos. Gonna make some nachos slash walking tacos within the stuffed pepper and just kind of eat it as a big smorgasbord. Pepper's going in. All right, as you can see, sun's setting, whipping up a meal. How's it looking, old Sash? Almost done. All right, should we do some American heat? Italian Parmesan, so use mine. First, this is Italian Parmesan. This one's the old American heat. We were gonna do this one, but we put the jalapeno in there. Mm. Oh, that smells really good. Wow. The old Wicked Cuts. I do have a code for this one too. Put it on the screen right here. They got a ton of different flavor seasonings and jerky, so. Little camping adventure and a new recipe is what we're trying here. Honestly, we could probably just scoop it. That'll work. Look Perfect. at that. Yeah. Turn this low. Set that on that side. That way it cooks the rest of the hamburger. Cooks in the pepper taste with it. Italian Parmesan walking taco slash stuffed pepper. Yum, yum. There we go. Meat is almost done. All right, got a little bit extra meat to snack on and throw in some walking taco. Next, restaurant style garlic parmesan green beans. If you guys watched the last truck camping one we did, I think it was out at the river, we did the old firecracker green beans. I saw these, figured I had to try them. So parmesan garlic, green beans, putting the tops on. All right, green beans are going. A little bit of dabble of cheese. I love cheese. Good one. <laughs> well, boom. What was a plate, now oh, it's a bowl. Then you just... Give her the crunch, crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Some meat with some peppers, some jalapenos. We're feasting good out here. A little bit of cheddar. There we go. And a little bit of lettuce. There you got a walking taco. And a, oh, have some lettuce. Walking tacos, peppers. We don't finish the pepper. These are actually done. These are good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They smell so good. <laughs> this is a feast. Mm, a little fork, little Look at that. Yeah, that looks good. Get a little bit of all of it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Peppers are good with it. Oh, wow. Here, I have some. I'm just throwing it on you. Good? Mm -hmm. The hamburger's really good. Yeah. I like the peppers in with it. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a kick with the jalapeno. I'm gonna move our one meal over here. Green beans next. Green beans. Ooh. Oh, those are perfect. Those look good. Oh. All right, we might have competition with the firecracker green beans. Those smell good. Look at that. <laughs> those are good. If you guys see these, I'll put them back on the screen right here. Super juicy, too. I'm doing it on my show. <laughs> if you guys see these in the store, definitely worth a shot. Wow. I think I got them at Walmart. Nice and cooked. Oh, that's a fat one. They're both fat. All righty. <laughs> you see all that juice just come out? <laughs> a little juicy. All right, try this puppy. Ooh. Should bring that pepper taste into the meat, hopefully. Oh, boy. Mmm. Good? Mm-hmm. Does it taste different than the one in the actual pan? Mm-hmm. So good. Very good. Yeah. The meat's real good. Good work in the kitchen, Sash. <laughs> we did it with the Italian Parmesan, uh, the old Wicked Cut seasoning on the meat and stuff. And the lemon. Mm -hmm. Lemon. That was actually pretty good. Lemon, peppers. <laughs> Put the lettuce back away for tomorrow. Cheese. The old truck fridge. Works out great. Put the lemon in there. One nice thing about it, you don't have to worry about ice and once the ice melts, all the water and draining it out. Drive the truck, stays cold. You're good. We're gonna throw the chips in there too, just because no bugs get in. Cleaned up the mess, and we had a heck of a meal. Um, honestly, we weren't gonna do any fishing or bow fishing because we ate so much and we just felt like going to bed, but I figured, you know, it's right here. We gotta try it, so we're gonna walk down here. Usually, when there's lights on the water like this, it attracts the bugs, and then the carp and everything like that come up, so we're gonna walk down and see. Real shallow. Some little baby bass and stuff right there. You guys probably can't see it on this camera, but honestly, I don't really see anything. I don't 
either. All right, well, never mind. All right, well, we just walked the bank right here too, and uh, it's a little bit murky. I don't think we're gonna be able to see anything. We're gonna call her a night, hop in the tent. How is it in there? Nice and toasty. <laughs> Zip her up. No bugs allowed. <laughs> no kidding. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. Uh, we shot some fish. We didn't think, we thought the lighting down there by the beach uh, it was actually going to be better than it was. But we did shoot some fish earlier. That was a heck of a time down at the dam. We ate a lot of food. Probably too much food. But all in all, it was a good night. Had a good meal. And something a little bit different for y'all yet again. So hopefully y'all enjoyed it. If you did, give a thumbs up. Don't forget that subscribe button. Peace. Good night.